Hi hand readers. Today's topic is the various little lines which appear vertically and horizontally on thumbs. And it's number 20 in my series of tutorials about thumbs. In fact, it's the last. I would never have imagined that I've, I would have had 20 different tutorials to offer. I originally thought there'd be 10 on the thumbs, but it just goes to show how enormously multidimensional the thumbs actually are. In the traditional Indian systems of hand reading, there are apparently people who can read your entire life just from your thumb alone. Again, that really takes us into how multidimensional and deep the thumb can actually be, and so much to see. If you are going to be examining thumbs really carefully, I'd suggest that you look at the vertical lines and the horizontal lines on the tips of the thumbs, most specifically, that would to me give the most information. Firstly, the bar lines, as you see in this image, there are several bar lines. They've just drawn in some arrows to show where the bar lines come in from the radial side of the hand. There are a couple of small ones, and then there's one particularly large one. And this refers to a blockage on the will. It's a blockage of the person's longings. It's their um, aspirations. It's what they really want to be doing, but there is some restriction. And the idea here is that when it comes in from the radial side, the restrictions are externally caused. So it could be something, for example, like they don't have enough money or they've been refused permission by a parent. External circumstances are the cause of the restriction with bar lines that come in from the radial side. Same thumb tip, same image. Here we're looking at bar lines that are coming in from the ulna side, the baby finger side. And in this case, the restrictions, the blockages, uh, the idea is that they are self-inflicted, so internals, internally self-created. It could be something like a defeatist attitude. That would make some sense here. The person might just feel they're not good enough, they're not adequate enough, they lack the resources, but it's to do with a certain internal mindset in this instance. If I was reading for this person, I would do that inquiry. I would ask them what is hampering, or I would make suggestions as to what might be hampering them and whether the source is internal or external. And bars that cut across this water phalange, which is the phalange of logic and reason in palmistry, have also got to do with some element of stress and tension and are linked to health. Although again, that would be an area of certain type of expertise. And I, I do believe there are some hand reading systems that go very deeply into the intricacies of the lines on this particular phalange. Here we see on the same thumbprint, the vertical lines, and these are called activation lines. And there are several in this image. I've only arrowed two of them. And this can suggest mental hyperactivation and stress in a person. It also adds on the positive to the application of will. So much would depend on the rest of the hand. Are these vertical lines a sign of too much stress and anxiety and hypertension and nervous system overdrive? Or is the person with their energy thrusting upward and outward in a positive way. And on the same thumb tip, as you can see, there are all sorts of little squares and cross hatchetings and almost like little grill, a little grill that appears. And um, th these, again, for those people who are extremely specialized in the lines of thumbs, might even come to some interpretations based on those. And then also just to mention that when you find vertical lines on the second phalange, the will and reason, um, sorry, logic and reason phalange, that could also be activating the capacity to think clearly, to be logical, and to have a good sense of reason. So it's a positive marking. That, that vertical line would be very positive there. And now we come to the well-known family ring. Here's an illustration from my most recently published book called Signs and Symbols on the Mounts. What happens here is that the line forms a chain-like ring at the base of our thumbs and obviously pertains to family as per the name. And it does show, especially if they're really strong and deep, it shows a stable and a caring family ties. But if they're faint and dispersed, then family unity might be lacking in the person. And again, this, uh, this, I must say, this family ring is also kind of an area of specialization. One can go very deeply into the subtle intricacies of these lines. If they're heavily chained, for example, at the beginning on the one side and they weaken to the other side, it could show that there's a shift in family matters over the years. 
So it could be a shift to the positive or the, or the negative, depending on which side is faint and which side is deep. Another thing that's quite well known is if they're red or tinged with blue, there's a worry about the family. Often redness shows worry, I find, in hands. If there are breaks in these family rings, there are periods of conflict, there's periods of separation. Tiny little triangles is quite interesting, are supposed to increase the possibility of inheritance. Little stars have a more negative meaning that they would highlight uh, lack of family boundaries. And it's believed that if one has two sets of family rings, if they're doubled, it could indicate that you were brought up by more than one family or that you moved between two families in childhood. This line here, the one between the tip and the water phalange of the thumb, is um, there's often a little island actually in this line. And the, in fact, this line in itself is a study, believe it or not. Again, may I remind you that if you'd like me to read your hands, all you need to do is to submit photographs and your date of birth. Next week I'll be talking about hollow palms. I personally have exceptionally hollow palms, so it's always been an in area of interest for me in my years of hand reading. Thanks so much for watching and listening. I'll see you next week.